Welcome to Kyogle for round three of the MTA New South Wales Rally Championship, the Brakes Direct Border Rangers Rally. Our top contenders include Tom Clark in a Lancer Evo, who knows the importance of this event for his championship hopes. My win here is pretty crucial for us, so look, we're, um, we're really looking forward to it, that's for sure, and after being out there today and having a look at the roads, it's um, opened up my eyes to how quick this event's going to be, so look, we'll go out in the morning, I think we'll, we're going to try to jump the start and get out pretty fast. Um, I think there's not much room here to get a big lead, so they're short stages and they're fast, I think everyone's going to be relatively around the same sort of pace. But they've also been busily working on some improvements. It has a new heart, so we've put a new engine in, it went in on uh, Wednesday, um, it's been rolled up on the dyno, it's been tuned. Um, it is a lot more power than what we've been uh, accustomed to um, and it has a lot more torque, so I think it'll be good for these roads. JJ Haddon is known for his sideways driving style, but will it work here on the super fast roads around the Kyogle district? Yeah, my flamboyant driving style here I think will get me killed. To be quite honest, which is all is, it's definitely uh, the fastest roads I've ever come across, fastest roads I will ever drive. Never been up here before, changing tyre patterns as well to a close pattern I've never used before, so it is super, super fast. And it's one of them, if you make a mistake here, it's off, big time off. So I think my normal driving style is definitely not going to work here. The Coffs Harbour round of the championship is now off the calendar and it was a pace noted event which JJ Haddon loves. I don't really get blind rallies, like it's completely blind for me. I, I don't really know what I'm doing, I can't really read the roads properly. But after losing Coffs as well, that's a bit of a kick in the face to me because now I've only got two pace noted events out of the six. So I'm at a very big disadvantage I think, you know. We're looking for Tim Wilkins and he's noticeably missing from the ceremonial start. Tim Wilkins. The start of the rally, and he's in playing pool. Where else would you be? You've uh, had a bit of a tumultuous week with uh, losing a co-driver, but you've uh, picked somebody else up. Yeah, uh, Jim's got some sickness or cough, or maybe he's just scared or something, oh, God knows. But uh, yeah, no, it was really good. Last minute, Bernie decided to jump in, and a uh, bit of a mix of co-drivers, but he's happy, I'm happy, it should be good. Just like with Tom Clark, it's important for the Mitsubishi driver to do well here. It is, yeah, but at the same time I've got to finish the event and uh, not have too many problems, so it's uh, a lot of places to catch you out and a lot of bravery required this weekend, so just take it one stage at a time and see where it's at at the end of the event.